social banking from GT Bank. Anywhere, anytime, any device. Welcome to The Big Juice. So if you have been living under a rock somewhere, I've got news for you. Giddy Up is back. Season two is bigger, better, 13 episodes, 30 minutes long, and it's full of excitement, fun, mm -hmm. debauchery. What? Yes, yes, no, <laughs> yes, no. Betrayal. Anyhow, I do have the cast of Giddy Up with me now. Welcome, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. You're good to go with talks, right? Mm. Do I have a choice? When somebody has to meet up with some mystery woman? Yeah, Obi, who is this baby you're going to go meet up with? Uh, I'll leave the guy now. <laughs> yeah, and besides, who said anything about baby anyway? Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. Whatever. <laughs> See you guys in the morning. Later, mate. Welcome. Okay, so I've got to get you to introduce yourselves. Let me start with... Sam Kille. I play Yvonne on the show. Titi, and I play Eki. I'm Osi, and I play Obi. E.K. Chuku, and I play Mo. My name is Dami, and I play Tops. Okay, so for the people that missed season one, what is Giddy Up all about? Uh, well, Giddy Up is uh, that very interesting show that uh, Tales of the lives of different people who are, you know, set in a very modern, you know, life. Uh, cosmopolitan set of uh, people who do different things, what their choices and their fears, their pursuits, their interests. It shows everything, the lives of different people, um, what they make out of it. And I think that every character on the show is pretty much representative of you know, people who live in Lagos or in the big cities around Nigeria, you know, that tells of what they do. So I think that for everyone who watches the show, it's that show that helps you identify paths, you know, that people take and, you know, how they kind of survive. Okay, like um, O.C. mentioned, and uh, one of the main things you notice is, of course, there have been some changes. Yes, <laughs> From season one. Yep. So who has replaced who? Um, I you know, replaced the former character who was playing Obi. Um, and yeah, I think, I mean, I, I had a different idea of what the character was supposed to be from watching it. And I totally enjoyed season one. You know, I thought it was pure magic. Um, but yeah, it, it was an interesting character to have to, you know, come into because it's not my kind of Style. Yeah, we're going to talk about your role in it. Okay. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay. okay, and do you replace... Uh, I play Eki okay. mm -hmm. now. Um, and it used to be played by Orica, obviously. And so Eki is... she's She feels like a bit of me, so it wasn't really a far, <laughs> yeah. a far leap. Yeah. But yes. Okay, so I'm Kelly. I, I stayed here. I, was, I started. <laughs> Were you in, you were in season one? Yes. Because well? yes. yes. you, you, pointed, you pointed to Debbie <laughs> like, oh. Yeah, like he's my brother. You know, yeah. we're old school together. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. And um, season one, <laughs> all right, so this is for, you know, you guys here. Yeah. Season one ended with a bit of a cliffhanger. Yes. Okay. Spill. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe I should take that. But um, it was me getting supposedly raped um, or assaulted by. Larry, who is an amazing actor and yes <laughs> yes um that was the cliffhanger because it was me trying to make a positive decision about not being it wrong but <laughs> <laughs> well, someone had an issue with it so mm -hmm. season two should definitely be something people should look out for does she change is she really a good person or is she just well we know you don't die you know, <laughs> well yeah exactly yeah. i didn't die from the cliffhanger so at least we were sure of that Okay, so what has uh, season two been like for you? Do you, you know... Okay. <laughs> what was that? It's was a, that a lot more no, work? Yeah, it's a lot more work. Yes, yes, because like you said, it's 13 episodes, mm -hmm. 30 full minutes, as yeah. opposed to what we did the first time, which was more of a pilot. And yeah. it was pretty much three, three episodes broken down into like eight. Mm -hmm. So imagine doing, you know, 10 more of that. It, it was a lot of work but it was good work. <laughs> All right, so um, let's talk about behind the scenes. So we've talked about your you know, characters a little bit, but everybody knows that you know, when you're doing a TV show, there's what you see on screen and then there's what is happening behind the scenes. Yeah. So who is... <laughs> See, I haven't even said anything and you're looking nervous. <laughs> <laughs> what, 
this the kill. Who who is the biggest diva? Oh gosh. Oh, oh god. Dammy. Yes. By yes. far. Yes. 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 By far. Yes. Okay. By far. If you wait, wait, we're gonna take a vote now. Most if close. you think the DMB is the biggest diva, put your hands up. Who's the funniest? Everybody has like a good opinion. It was a very yeah. funny set. Mm -hmm. oh, but I come on, we have to give it to Adesua. Adesua. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this one, this one, that's what, that's it. Adesua kept me laughing. Every she time she speaks. Cat, uh, um, and then uh, she can sing. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Sharon, she's also, you know, like Tush and everything on the set. And then on most screen. of the stage coaches like, ah, oh, oh, yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, one, yeah, this was definitely. Okay. Good. All right. Let us talk about you guys individually. Um, Titi, congratulations. You just did a TED talk in Canada. So what was the uh, talk about? Uh, the theme was uncertainty and I was an engineer and I'm now a writer. So I don't think there's anything more uncertain than leaving an engineering career to become a writer. So that's what my thought was. Is this your acting debut? Yeah, this is my first role. Oh, wow. Okay. So how did you, how did you get the role? <laughs> my audition. I literally arrived at the Indani office for mm. an audition. And there was a bunch of serious actors around and I thought to myself, these people brought me here to make fun of me, I'm sure of it. So one of them was like, oh, I see a model. And the other one was like, oh, I see a big brother. So I just showed up and I thought it'll be something to laugh about later on. Mm. And I went up audition, people got really excited. And then I got a call. And I got a call. So do you still write poetry? Of course, it's a big part of my life. All right, well, we've got to hear a little something. Oh, gosh. Um, okay. In the beginning, there was only us. Before light was first spoken, we existed in the moment before Genesis. Before the taste of forbidden fruit, a speck of dust to ignite generations. And we know this darkness well. We move through it with the speed of love or light, your ribs, a creation blueprint beneath my fingers, your mouth, a holy place. Tracing a thousand amens along my spine, and you unearth me like ancient scripture. Hmm. Travel over me like a pilgrimage, each heartbeat is prophecy. And there are revelations here. There is gospel nestled in your palms, songs, proverbs, parables in the warmth of your breath. Hmm. We are creation stories. A testament to weathering storms, two by two, the audacity to walk on water, to take down giants. And I only need to look at the miracles unfolding in your smile to remember that there is salvation in a kiss. There are small mercies in a pulse. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, told, I told you, man. Give me a kiss on the cheek. Give me a kiss. <laughs> Come here, girl. Get it. Yeah, that's all right. More than that. Oh, my God. All right. Are you okay? Okay. Ikechuku, we're going to talk about you. Are you all right? I'm okay. Oh, good. You're good. Did you get a bit tearful? You know, you get emotional with the rumor mill is going to be spinning. I'm in trouble. All right. Let's talk about you. Um, A lot of people will know you, of course, as a rapper. Um, but now you're kind of doing a lot more acting. You're, you've been doing different roles and um, you did a short film called Wages, right? That's correct. And it won an award? That's correct. So what happened? Are you still, are you, still you know, really focusing on the music or has that taken a bit of a backseat and you're now doing more movies? This question has TV come up shows. a lot mm -hmm. ever since people have started noticing me on the other side. Um, but I don't think you, ha you actually have to uh, leave one or reduce the amount of focus on one for the other. I think you can do both, you know, at an equal amount of focus. Uh, prior to coming back to Nigeria, I was pursuing an acting career. I was pursuing acting prior to pursuing music seriously. Music was actually the hobby and acting was the thing that I wanted to be so serious about. And then moving to New York from New Jersey and diving into the field and realizing how difficult the field was, I kind of like slowly started falling in, back into my music. So it's kind of like a big 360 for me. Okay, we'll talk about you guys later. All right, on to Somkele. Congratulations. I've been doing this interview and I've been, you know, <laughs> blinded by <laughs> this rock. <laughs> this massive oh rock. Oh my God. Yes. You need to do that. When you first got it, were you like, Oh my goodness, it's so hot in here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, no, did you do all of that? No, I was literally like, no. <laughs> that was me, that was me. I was Walking down the street like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I completely became a lefty, as you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> I just flipped my head lefty hand. Okay, so, 
who is this guy? What can you know? Oh, yeah, he's, he's, he's a very special guy. guy. Oh. He's very, very special. Guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how long? How long have you guys known each other? Um, we've known. This is the fourth year. I've known him. This is the fourth year. Okay. Yeah. Have you done the big white wedding? No, not yet. Very soon. Very soon. All right. Yeah. Is it going to be in Nigeria, or are you going to do, you know, the in thing now and go like, you know? Not the in thing. What my heart's into is what I'll do. So we'll wait for that. All right, then. Um, we need to take a quick break right now. But of course, I still have um, some of the cast, the wonderful cast of Giddy Up, still on the juice with me. So don't go away. Won't celebrate in advance. Won't celebrate in advance. So Jack, yeah, my sorrow. Make sure no, my summer. To the top, I go show my dick bear. Yes, care, my deck all live there. We're gonna celebrate in advance. Won't celebrate in advance. Welcome back to The Juice. I still have the lovely cast, well, some of the cast from Giddy Up here with me. Some Kelly, Titi, OC, Ikechuku. Do you hear me? You guys are okay, right? Yep. I feel that there's still lots of juice that could be extracted. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, Day and me. All right, ever since season one, we've kind of seen you just everywhere. You're like everywhere now. Hosting shows, you hosted the launch of the juice. Yep. And um, you, I'm sure you got lots of calls after you did season one of Giddy Up. Yes, uh, I actually have. Um, I think a lot of people saw the, the first season and they must have appreciated what the, what the actors did, what we did. Um, and um, yeah, I got a couple of calls and I've been in several short films. I've been in a short film with produced, directed, written, written and produced by Yes, mm -hmm. I have worked with um, a couple of other people and it's, it's really been interesting considering the fact that season one was sort of like my not my debut exactly but you know it was one of the first major things that i did and um by the time we were gonna start season two i had decided that acting was what i wanted to do the rest of my life mm. and so i quit my job a lot of ladies want to know as well are you single no i'm not mm. i'm picking Mm, very much so. <laughs> <laughs> are you taken as in you're dating or you're, you know, you're legally taken? I am legally taken. I have met, married, the love of my life. Oh, oh see, it's your turn. Mm. So, do you have any movies coming out this year? I think that there are a few that will pop out this year. Um, and one, There's something, love or something like that, love with Jocelyn like that. Duma. Yes, with Jocelyn Duma and John Dumalo. Okay, so <laughs> were you were you like her, the her love interest? Yeah, yes, well, he was. Mm. Did you get to yes, he was. Yes, he did. Did you get? To <laughs> you did? Yes, he did. Was but it nice? It, yeah, it was very nice. I'm kidding. Well, the movie? Yeah. And the case. <laughs> it's all good. All right. Um, are you single? No, I'm not. Oh wow! Can you hear that? Oh, <laughs> that breaking all over the world. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh. Sounds crack, crack, crack. of broken hearts. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you? What are you? Are you legally taken? No, I'm not legally taken. Are you almost Yet. legally taken? There's a chance. It's almost. Hmm. Have you proposed? Hmm. It's too much information. Too much information. Plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. Is her name Ibuku? He's like, he's like. That's good. <laughs> All right, so everybody. Okay. Not everybody. Well, <laughs> would you look at who's left? <laughs> Wait. You look at who's left. Mm. Well, that's what I'm saying. If you remove you some killer, uh -huh. DME's gone. OC's already, he, he's you're, you're, you're engaged. <laughs> the singletons the happen singletons. to be, singletons. the singletons like, like Johnny and happen Jenny, to you know? be, you know. Let me see, I'm going to start with the Kichiku. Why should we make sure we, we watch every single episode you of Giddy Up? You should watch every single episode of Giddy Up because I'm in it. <laughs> well, I'm actually not in every single episode, I think. But it's filled with very, very talented actors. It's an incredible scripting team that's doing the writing. The directing is incredible. 
Um, and besides all of that, from the technical angles, we're giving you stuff that you actually haven't really seen on TV before. Now, I'm not just talking about content-wise, I'm talking about the angles, the abstract angles of which we're shooting from, you know, the frames being chopped at a certain amount of, <laughs> let me stop talking technical. I was gonna tense, say, yeah. he went it's just, technical. It's, yes, but, but it's deep like that though. Okay. It's deep like that. What you've been watching on TV prior to Giddy Up is a shallow end of the pool. Oh, yeah. deep. Yeah. DME, exactly. can you top that? It is our story, and we're telling it our way. So I think it's something everybody, young, old, middle-aged, would feel a connection to. We're, every character there is is somebody out there, a friend, a brother, a sister, you know, a neighbor. So I, I think it's something that we should we should just sit back, relax, and enjoy. This has been a lot of fun, and um, I'm sorry if I got some people in trouble. Okay. <laughs> You're really not sorry, but it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I at least at least I'm I'm nice enough to fake apologize. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I think you know. So yeah, um, you guys, if I see you in the street, don't run me over. <laughs> I'm just doing my job. <laughs> Thank you very much for stopping by, guys. Thank, Thank you for having us. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tools. If you enjoyed watching that, make sure you subscribe to the Indani TV channel and you can also watch more videos here.